to the channel today we're doing the top 10 Godzilla and Kong figures of 2021 today starting off the list at number 10 is the Hong Kong Battle Kong uh, I like this figure a lot I think out of all the, uh, the Kong figures that we got from Playmates this is by far my favorite from the sculpt to the coloration I love the lights from the Hong Kong skylines I think it just looks fantastic and that's why this is number 10 Coming in at number 9 is from the Playmates Godzilla Classic lines of Jet Jaguar. I think one of the things that is so great about the classic lines for the Playmates figures is that they really capture the likeness from the movies and the suits. Um, this is a figure that, although I'm not like the biggest Jet Jaguar fan, he's not one of my favorites, uh, I really love the figure. I really think it captures the essence of Jet Jaguar. I think it looks really, really great. And for the price point, I think of like 10 bucks, you really can't beat it. And that's why this is number 9. Coming in at number 8 is the NECA poster version of King Kong. Uh, this figure goes absolutely great with your poster version of Godzilla. If you guys want to see a comparison of that, go check out my review of this guy in my uh, Godzilla playlist. You'll find it in there. Uh, but yeah, I just think that this NECA King Kong line is fantastic. All four figures we've got are absolutely great. Uh, you're actually going to see the other two figures on this list. Uh, they're pretty much grouped with one another. Uh, if you kind of catch my drift, you'll kind of see what I'm saying in a second. There's, I just like each individual just a little bit more than the other. Uh, I do think there is a definitive NECA Kong figure and it is on the list and I'll tell you when I get to that. But for the most part, this is number eight. Let's go to number seven. Number seven is the Concrete Jungle of King Kong from the NECA Toys Ultimate Kong line. Again, with my next figure uh, on the list, uh, you guys can inter swap which one you think is which. They're basically the same figures, just different accessories. And that's why I think this and the other figure you're about to see, which I'll just tell you, it's a Skull Island Kong. I think these are the two definitive Kong figures. They have really great face sculpts, accessory packs. I think they're really great, and I would suggest they either get the Concrete Jungle or the Skull Island Kong. Uh, they're pretty much neck and neck. I just like the you know accessories for the Skull Island Kong a little bit more. But that's why this figure is number seven, and the next one will be number six. Coming in at number six, like I said, is, in my opinion, the definitive version of King Kong for the NECA Toys line. Uh, the only reason I lean through this one, like I said, I like the accessory packs more. I like the dinosaurs that it comes with. Uh, and also, too, in every Kong movie, my favorite part of the movie is always when he's in his element on Skull Island from the original to the Peter Jackson remake and also to the entirety of the Skull Island movie which I think is the funnest King Kong movie, uh, but my, I think the best King Kong movie well, is, to me is the Peter Jackson version. That's the one I like the most. But like I said, my favorite part of the original movie, which I, are these kind of what these ones are based off of, is um, the Skull Island part. I think that's why I lean more towards this more so than the Concrete Jungle version. So it all comes down to preference. But I think for the price point, I do think NECA has given us, you know, the best Kong figures. And that's why these figures are so much higher than the Playmates. Uh, figures. I just think that out of all the King Kong figures, these ones are just the coolest. Uh, so yeah, that's why this one is number six. Now let's get into the top five and see where we're at. Coming in at number five is the Playmates Toys Poor Source from the Godzilla Classics line. Uh, like I said with the Jet Jaguar figures, what I like about the classic lines is that it really keeps the elements of the suit, right? They don't try to realize them, that it very much looks like how they were in the film. And I really appreciate that. And also too, they're vinyl figures, so there's the nostalgia. Anybody who's been collecting Godzilla figures since a young age, they know that it's always been that vinyl. So it's kind of cool to get that. And I just think this is a really awesome figure. And for the price point of $9, again, guys, with these Godzilla classic lines, you can't beat the non-dollar price point for a pretty decently good looking figure. And I just think it's just really awesome to get a Gorosaurus figure you know, in your collection. So yeah, that's why this is number five. Let's go to number four. Coming in number four from the Godzilla Classics uh, line from Playmates Toys is Rodan. And this figure, I think the reason, out of all the Godzilla Classic lines, this is my favorite by far, because I feel like out of all figures, this one captures the element from the Showa era of the goofiness uh, of the suits and just like, I don't know, just everything about it just brings back so much nostalgia that I can literally see this guy in the movie. And I just think it's such a cool looking figure. And again, for nine bucks, honestly, it's not a bad day, uh, not a bad deal. So yeah, man, this is my number four. We're gonna break into the top three. Uh, these fi three figures I absolutely love. Let's check them out. Coming in at number three, which I, in my opinion, I think this is the best Godzilla figure Playmates has given us. And you can't have a Godzilla and Kong action figure a list without including the G-Man himself, Godzilla. This is the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. Uh, as you saw, the Kong was on the list. 
but this figure is absolutely amazing from the translucent uh, lucid plastic to the paint i love the purples the blacks and the blues i think they look really well together and i just think that this is a great godzilla uh, you know if i could only get one godzilla figure from the playmates line this would be the guy i get and i think this one runs about 12 dollars but it's an absolutely fantastic figure these next three figures are just fantastic so let's go to number two and number two goes to the mecha godzilla from godzilla vs kong the godzilla vs kong playmates toy line and i'm a massive fan of the legendary monster verse and to have a monster verse version of, God, of uh, mecha godzilla in the collection is such a treat to me um i love all the interpretations that the legendary monster has given us of their versions of uh, these classic monsters and I, I just absolutely love the design. I just think it's a really fantastic design, a really fantastic figure. And I, I gotta think the same thing with the Godzilla. The Godzilla vs. Kong line, they, I think, I'm pretty sure they run about $12.99. Again, not a bad price for a pretty solid figure. So I think the SH Monster Arts, and yeah, considering that gives us way more articulation, but that's like, I think, in the $100 range. And to be honest with you, I, I just, I don't got that type of money to be forking out. So this figure does the job. I love it, and that's why this is number two. And coming in at number one goes to the Warbat from the Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates toy line. Uh, out of all the out of all the original legendary monster designs they've given us, from the skull crawlers to the Mudos, uh, you know this dog. Uh, this is by far my favorite uh, original design. I love the Warbat. I'm a, I really like snakes. I think they're always, it's always been something I've been interested in since a kid, and I love the fact that they decide to combine elements of you know a king cobra and a black mamba and the bats of the wing of the wings of a bat it's just really really cool it's just a fantastic design uh, i love 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 this figure out of all the godzilla vs kong figures i would say to get it would be this guy i think it's just truly fantastic and this is my favorite figure of the godzilla and king kong line for sure uh that's why it's number one uh, i hope you guys like this video please comment down below and keep an eye on my channel for more videos i'll catch you guys in the next one